there you go. <laughs> anyway, anyway, final well, conference. We, we have going to close out this this humongous. <laughs> people say people say E three is dead. The excitement is gone. Christ Almighty! You've been it? sitting here talking nearly two hours I about know, the right? morning conferences. Yeah, I know. You know, so we are going to round <laughs> off and finish things off with Ubi. And yeah. I thought I thought Ubisoft had a actually had a fabulous. They had a really a fabulous, really good show. Um, so. We've already covered off Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, the biggest surprise for me, excuse me, <coughs> the biggest surprise for me in Ubisoft's conference was the game they opened up with. Yeah. And that is Mario Rabbids. <laughs> Mario plus Rabbids, Mario and Rabbids. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, so and... I have no idea what Rabbids are. <laughs> other than kind of like demented looking rabbits. That's exactly Yeah, right. okay. Yeah. So the, the rabbit, obviously. They're like Ubisoft's version of Minions. Or the yeah. Minions are like yeah. you know, Sony's but version of See, yeah. as soon as they showed the gameplay of this thing, I thought, holy shit, this is just adorable. It looks fantastic. It's obviously um, tactical. Well, in, in the terms of like an XCOM sort well, of that's game. That's what I mean. It's like the job yeah. hit the floor. You're thinking yeah. Mario and Rabbids. This is going to be some kind of party game nonsense. Yeah, but, but you know what I mean. Nonsense has had a lot of fun. Then they're like, well, yeah, yeah, we're just doing this XCOM. Like, what? Yeah. So I mean, nuts. I, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna do very, <laughs> very well. Uh, the Rabbids fans, the Mario fans, they're gonna just get get them and get on. Make, does and that make them Rabbid Mario? It makes them ma- Rabbid Mario fans. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry. Rabbid for Mario. Um, <laughs> It's just it just looks incredible. A lot of good fun. Um, it's probably not for me, but it just it just looks a lot of fun. And the fact that it's tactical <laughs> and, and it's a turn, it looks like it's turn based. I think it is turn based. Yeah, yeah. and it's third party support. Somebody showed third party support for Nintendo. Yes, something With, they didn't have now, on the Wii U. What is most surprising and awesome about that statement that Scotty just said there? Third party support is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. That Nintendo are finally getting it, but it's third party support with a first party license. Yes. Um, and that is something that before Switch Ooh. launch, would, nobody would have seen that coming. Nobody would have thought that was ever going to happen. Nintendo always have an iron-like mm-hmm. grip upon mm-hmm. their first-party franchises. Unless, well, I say that, um, I know Retro Studios have the Metroid license. Yes. But in terms of Mario license, nobody touches that by Nintendo. No, this is true. This is true. So, so they, must, that's incredible. they must have a lot of trust in what Ubi are doing. Yeah. That they've let... Mario jump across. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's, yeah. that's just going to be awesome. Yeah. And of course, being a Nintendo game, oh, sorry, for Nintendo uh, platform, and, and we've we'll mentioned that it kind of looks like an XCOM sort of game, you know it's not going to be nearly as hard as XCOM. <laughs> it's, a, it's got the Mario IP behind it. It's going to be accessible and fun. It's going to be right? silly. It's so going to be silly XCOM. It's going to be so silly XCOM, exactly. So, yeah, that's, that's definitely um, a big kind of surprise that we yes. really, really liked the look of. So, yes. can we for all as well? So, as you say, we've already covered off Assassin's Creed as well. We've yep. spoken about Skyrim. Yep. Um, <laughs> and, oh, where do we go next? For the uh, well, the... Next for the oh, yeah, it's not the Oh, yeah, we'll Gosh! <laughs> it's, uh, it's too um, long. So... Basically, Ubisoft. so let's jump across to Far Cry 5 then. Oh, because yes. um, this yes. is, again, it's, it's a bit of a reinvention of the franchise as well. So for the very first time, the fran- uh, the Far Cry franchise is coming to the US. It's stateside. It's always been in other countries around the world, but it's never been on its homeland. Um, and what is exciting about this is that it is focusing on uh, like a militia, a cult, yes. a crazy cult that's taken over an entire state it seems not just a little town it's a full state and uh, with some crazy evan- uh-huh. evangelical somewhat not it's, job it's leader. the west but a baptist gone insane <sighs> yeah yeah so um, that's as political as i'm going to get okay yeah, that's steady. You know, <laughs> no one to offend I, anybody here I, but yeah i think i think that there was com- there was a lot of complaints leveled at ubi over the years with the way the short sure. cry games were going that yeah they were Getting to be perhaps a little bit racially stereotypical. Yeah, that's that's fair to say. Which is that's maybe the reason they've gone down this route, but it, it looks insane. It does look insane. Yeah, insane. I mean, it looks like they're. I mean, again, it looks like they're they're treating it incredibly seriously as well. And what I mean by that is not factually seriously. I mean the subject matter, with the way they are kind of. It's all fiction, of course, but they're they're treating it like it's, it's going to be brutal as well. Absolutely. It's similar to yeah. uh, um, the way the Days Gone is doing the third person open world sort of thing, this first person brutality is going to be quite visceral, I think. It is. And it's going to be, it looks like it's taking some of the best bits from the likes of The Division and Ghost Recon, 
yep. uh, Wildlands as well, and then setting them basically in the Far Cry setting, uh, yeah. Far Cry um, kind of mold. Yeah. Because you're going to have, I think it's up to four player co-op. Uh, as well. So. Yeah. Plus you've got so. AI. Drop in and gathered, drop out, isn't it? There's AI kind of support coming in yeah. um, from the way the trailer was talking. Yeah, so well. I think the trailer was it was uh, some guy like ju- jumped into the game and he was driving like a big S- SUV. No, it was a tanker. It was a big, massive. Uh, I don't know what they call them in the states. The big I mean, Arctic I trucks that he used as a battering ram at one point. <laughs> um, the, you've obviously got your AI buddies that you can call for support, but you sure. can also call in live players for support as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And the fact that it's not unlike Far Cry Four, where it was. Co-op missions. Oh, is Far Cry 4 was only two-player co-op, wasn't it? Uh, I think so. I yeah, think it was, yeah. But this is actually the main game now. The whole the whole world, the whole game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this just looks a lot of fun. And you have, you have a very, um, what's the word, a reactive um, dog, I guess you could say. <laughs> <laughs> a very useful companion and, and a canine buddy, yes. I guess. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably the term I'm looking for here. Um it seems to be some of the footage that they showed off is that so the dog cannot die, but it can get injured, and which I guess would take it out of commission until the battle's over, right? Yeah, sure. But this this dog can actually run up, tackle enemies, grab the gun off them, and bring the gun back to you. It's brilliant! It looks so that's that's, 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 that. that's pretty cool. That. That's, um, yeah, that's a that. next gen mechanic right there. Like, <laughs> we've been missing in our shooters, yeah. So I'm just going to send the dog it. off at everybody. I said, "Con try that wild line, but not to the extent that Far Cry Five is going to do it. The dog's going to do everything." So um, it it just looks incredible. We don't know too much about the story or the setting yet, but we're going to have a lot of fun kind of dissecting it, pouring over the gameplay footage in the months to come because that's is that this year as well. Is that another yeah, big one for Ubisoft? Yeah, this, this is be like so yeah, till end of the year release. So Ubisoft like busy have, busy second half of the year. Bit, so yeah, because yeah, they're launching. Assassin's Creed and they're mm-hmm. launching Far Cry so yes. they've got their bases covered with the first person shooter and the third person adventure game yes, so they're going to have a big big year hopefully yeah, yes. that's awesome and that brings us to the end is it do we have anything else that, uh, there was one there? more thing that again oh, we talking yeah, about sorry, talking about right, Metroid that everybody lost their collective shit over yeah um, Ubi so but it was more than just a logo this time it was <laughs> more than just a logo but Ubisoft decided to pull out the bag a trailer for <gasps> Beyond Good versus Evil. Yes, yeah! come See, on! I lost my shit. I, I, I don't. I, I lost. Don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. It looked stunning. Yeah. I, it looked amazing. Well, See, it was a CG that, a trailer. Thing. There was there was no gameplay at all. No, and, no. and by the sounds of it, it's very early in development, so it's going to be a long time before this thing comes out. But it was great to to see them do a proper segment on it to say. I know what you're thinking. It's like, where's the gameplay? There's no point in losing your shit to yeah, the gameplay. Exactly. I, I, mean, I understand that, but for the fans that have been waiting for this to get formally announced that it is actually happening, it's coming, um, it was massive news. It but was, yes, I share the disappointment yeah, that we didn't get any game. It was formally announced. It was formally, informally informally announced. <laughs> or informally many E3s ago with a same with, well, with a CGI sorry. trailer. Back then, well, and was it? Well, maybe yeah, maybe you it know the, maybe the roadside one with the, you know, where the car was broken down and all that. Oh, stuff. okay, right. Well, that okay. tilted it back then. But it may look different as anyway. now. Apparently, it's very different. It's not even that at all because that was oh, the original no. characters. That's right. So uh-huh. this is a prequel. It's totally mm-hmm. different. Now. It's, it's it's like different solar systems or something that's going on. It's, it's absolutely batshit crazy again. I, I I don't want to end yeah. on a negative one in that sense, <laughs> but I can't help but kind of. Remain cynical until Absolutely not. Exactly. Have something to show. Exactly. Until we have something to show, it's very difficult to. What I think yeah. was did give me confidence that something yeah. was around the corner for it was when when they brought all the dev team out at the I end mean, of yeah, that trailer. Exactly. And they were they all they, they all came across very humble and very yeah. You know, well, I mean, very the, thankful the, for for the support. As soon as they they showed that trailer, um, the was it a community manager that came out? Mm. But they all also came out the. The original creator, yes, of Beyond Good and Evil, Michael Ansel. Mm-hmm. They brought him out, and you can just see how emotionally invested yes, he was. Absolutely. He actually absolutely. began to tear up, and he was really humble. And, <laughs> I mean, that was just like, oh, just a, got me right in the feels, man. That was for the cameras. It was yeah. for the camera. Not for the <laughs> it's, all, it's all staged. <laughs> Cynical. What? <laughs> he pinched himself before he went in the camera. Yeah, but that, I mean, but, that that's what gives me hope for the fact that they are. This yeah. isn't just going to be kind of vaporware like the way. Yeah. It was all those years ago when they first touted that a yeah. sequel was coming. Yeah. Um, you know, so fing- fingers crossed that we will see something in the next 
maybe there'll be gameplay next year. Hopefully, maybe. hopefully, yeah, because they, they're, they're now it's out there officially out there that they're working on it so i'm hoping that they're going to have some gameplay soon i hope it's not just starting production because exactly. that means it's it's years <laughs> away, so. yeah that, that could be brutal but i'm i'm happy that it's got announced and it was a beautiful kind of tone and, and mm. sentiment to mm. end their show on essentially yes. wasn't it? so yeah yes. that was awesome that was so awesome. I think we've pretty much covered everything. <laughs> that, we can, that we can think of. So these, yeah, these were the kind of the main games that really caught our attention, the ones that we wanted to chat about. Um, but guys, let us know in the comments if there's any games that we haven't covered that you guys want to chat about and um, what are you most looking forward to. If you haven't enjoyed this video, do remember to give us a like and a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing more of this kind of stuff. We've got a whole lot of trailer analysis videos coming mm -hmm. as well where we basically we break down and dissect what we saw in the trailer reveals and hopefully have a bit of a discussion with, with you guys in the community as well. So do, as I said, give us a like and a subscribe. Check us out on Twitter at GTag as well and stay tuned for our